pride that I officially welcome you to the Augusta University alumni family. You are joining a group of more than 63,000 alumni. On behalf of the AU Alumni Association, I encourage you to stay involved and connected with your alma mater by staying active with the Alumni Association. Whether it's connecting with fellow alumni through various events like Alumni Weekend and Homecoming, or giving you access to career and professional development support, we are here for you. We hope you stay engaged with us and enjoy the many opportunities that being an Augusta University alumnus offers. Thank you and congratulations. Good evening and welcome to the spring 2023 graduate hooding and commencement exercises at Augusta University. The ceremony begins with the ringing of the arsenal bell by Ms. Krista Green, Executive Assistant to the Vice President of Development at Augusta University's Philanthropy and Alumni Engagement Office. Ms. Green is the 2022 winner of the James A. and Erie P. Blissett Award given to the Augusta University employee who performs outstanding administrative support services and promotes a positive image for Augusta University. We invite you to stand for the processional.
Well, good evening. It is my pleasure to convene the Augusta University Spring 2023 Graduate Hooding and Commencement Ceremony and to extend my sincerest welcome to family and friends both here with us and watching online and most importantly to our graduates to your event. The time is spent with, uh, filled with happiness, pride, and in some cases relief and we are all honored to celebrate it with you. I also take this opportunity to acknowledge the critical role of the dean and faculty of each college and how they provide in the success of our students. Their contributions truly make a significant difference. In addition, I'm privileged to share the platform today with members of the university's leadership and the elected faculty officer of the university senate who together play an essential role in the shared governance of our institution. And now it is my privilege and special pleasure to introduce the individual who is first and foremost amongst that leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, the distinguished alumnus of both of our legacy institutions and the inaugural president of Augusta University, Dr. Brooks Keel. Good afternoon, Jaguar Nation and welcome to our 2023 graduation exercises. Kennedy Smith, a degree candidate for the Master of Arts in Teaching program today, will now lead us in the singing of the National Anthem. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors, the National Anthem, and the invocation. Good evening. Please join me in a moment of silent prayer of gratitude 
for all of those who helped us reach this milestone. Amen. As I reflect on my experience here at Augusta University, the things that stand out to me are not the long hours, late nights, or rigor of my graduate program, which I'm sure all of us here can identify with, but the relationships I've forged and the unity of my physician assistant cohort. <laughs> Though we come from different walks of life, I will forever be connected to my classmates because of the challenges that we've overcome together through illness, loss, adversity, and being there to listen, cry, smile, or add some dry humor on a long day. Strong work, PAs. <laughs> Dr. Maya Angelou once said, people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. What will others remember about you after Augusta University? What will define your transition to this next phase of your life and career? Kindness still goes a long way in improving someone else's day, whether it be the person bagging your groceries or a colleague going through a difficult time. We can never know the invisible pain that others are facing. So perhaps we should default to always giving people more grace than we think they deserve. As a future physician assistant, grace and kindness are crucial to providing the best care possible for my patients. Regardless of your profession, I challenge you to do the same by seeking out the misunderstood, the vulnerable, and the ostracized wherever you are. And to give grace even when it's difficult or uncomfortable. Years from now, when you ask yourself what others remember about how you made them feel, what will the answer be? I invite each of you to reflect now on who you are and how you want to make your mark Decide now what will define you. Thank you. Please be seated. I want to graduate its families and friends and other distinguished guests. It's my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the faculty to welcome you to the graduation and hooding exercises here at Augusta University. At this time, we'd like to express our appreciation to Kennedy Smith, the ROTC Color Guard, and the Brass Quintet for the important contributions they make to our graduation exercises. And additionally, we'd also like to thank Katie Foley for giving the invocation. Katie was chosen as the graduate student ceremony speaker through a selection process with our Student Government Association. Would you please join me in thanking all of them? The John F. Beard Award is a 40,000 annual award given by William Porter, Billy Payne, and his wife, Martha, to a graduating Augusta University student who exemplifies caring and compassion in health care. The award was established in 1998 in memory of Mrs. of Mrs. Payne's father, who died of cancer in 1997. John F. Beard Award honors President Emeritus Francis Tedesco and Mrs. Mr. Beard's physician, Dr. Mark Williams, a 1988 Medical College of Georgia graduate who treated Mr. Beard during his hospitalization uh, at AU Health System. Nominees for this award are submitted to the University Senate and representatives from the Senate make the final selection. This is one of the most prestigious awards given annually to a student. A composite plaque listing past recipients moves from college to college around campus and is housed in the college of that year's student recipient. It currently resides in the Medical College of Georgia. That's about to change. I'm pleased to report that after today, the composite plaque will move to the College of Allied Health Sciences. This year's Beard Award recipient dedica uh, recipient's dedication to service and compassion is truly inspirational. While pursuing a master's degree in occupational therapy, the student volunteered for over 747 hours in the Augusta community. 
The student provided additional support to children with special needs as a volunteer ballet instructor, helping them participate in ballet classes. The student also took on the role of student vacation Bible school leader for children with special needs. Through her leadership and compassion, she helped children with special needs connect, with, connect their faith and develop meaningful relationships with their peers. Once, upon learning that a student slept on the floor at night and wished for a pillow for Christmas, she launched a fundraiser to support such students in need. This fundraiser garnered support from individuals in the College of Allied Health Sciences and the College of Education and Human Development and resulted in five students being sponsored. This student's most inspiring show of compassion and service occurred during her clinical rotation in a Title I elementary school. She created and implemented a literacy-based occupational therapy class for 169 students to provide early intervention therapy. She initiated a weekly research journal club to understand how learning and development was impacted in a low socioeconomic status community like their school. But most importantly, this student's dedication in helping those in need led her to enter into a contest to raise money for the school. The efforts were successful, and the online community quickly raised more than $80,000 to provide Christmas gifts for the school. Despite the challenges that come with managing such a large-scale gift donation, this student approached the task with enthusiasm and dedication, working tirelessly to ensure every child received a present. To accomplish this, she had to take on unfamiliar tasks, including accounting, bulk ordering, community relations with outside organizations, and others. Her efforts made a significant impact on the children who received these gifts, and her example serves as an inspiration to others who wish to make a positive difference in their communities. One of her classmates said, she is one of those people you meet that you just instantly know will change the world. She leaves you feeling refreshed, encouraged, and inspired to do better. The, student in, the student's impact extends beyond just her students and the community that she serves. As an assistant professor said, she modeled optimism and action as a response to compassion for her neighbors who face so many challenges, a lesson that all involved can take away. Because of this student's kindness and compassion to go above and beyond in service to the community, hundreds of students and families receive necessities and gifts that most would never have experienced in their lifetime. Her story is a reminder that one person can make a difference and that small acts of kindness, kindness have a major impact. For these reasons and many others, it's my distinct honor to present Amanda A. Valentini with the prestigious John F. Beard Award. Amanda, would you please come forward and receive this award? It's now my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker. Brittany Kistner is chair of the Kevin and Brittany Kistner Foundation, a nonprofit she and her husband, PGA Tour golf, golfer Kevin Kistner, established in 2016. The vision of the Kistner Foundation is for all children to have the opportunities and resources to develop into responsible adults with a bright future. Under Brittany's leadership, the Kistner Foundation has given more than 700,000 in grant funding to the organizations across the CSRA who share this vision. In 2021, the Kistner Foundation pledged $5.3 million to establish the Kistner Foundation and Friends Center for Pediatric Development, Behavioral Health, and Wellness at the Children's Hospital of Georgia here at, at AU Health System. Brittany worked as a speech language pathologist at the Children's Hospital of Georgia for several years before the Kistners married in 2012 and moved to Aiken. Brittany and Kevin have three children, Kate, eight, Henry, five, and George, two. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my keynote speaker for this evening, Mrs. Brittany Kistner. Thank you, Dr. Keel. Congratulations to the graduate class of 2023. While it's a huge honor to be asked to address you today, I remember that it was not so long ago that I sat in your seat. And I've heard from great statesmen like Johnny Isaacson and hilarious celebrities like Stephen Colbert at my own commencements 
and I honestly can't recall the remarks that either one of them gave. Um, that certainly helps with the pressure on my end, because let's be honest, you people are done. <laughs> so I'll be brief, because this day is about you. By definition, this audience is full of high achievers. You have reached a level of educational and professional success that places you at the top of your field. It's really a lifetime achievement goal that only a handful can claim, and you are just getting started. Today is a celebration of you. You have put in the hard work. You have spent hundreds of hours in research labs, writing papers and dissertations, in clinical practicums, and in patient care. You are most likely tired, but also eager and hopefully energized to begin or continue on with your career in this next phase of your professional life. I was reminded after having some conversations with my own dad regarding the speech, yes, you still call your dad, <laughs> that he graduated from the University of Georgia with his doctorate at the age of 41 while working full time. And my sisters and I were the exact age that my children are now, eight, five, and two. As a mom of three, trying to juggle all the things all the time, like we all do, I can only imagine the relief that he and my mom felt, which leads me to this. I know there are many proud partners, spouses, children, parents, grandparents, all in this room today as well. Cheers to y'all and the sacrifices that you have made along the way in support of your graduate. They appreciate it more than you could ever know. Now, to the future. I'm old enough to have learned from those who gave me great advice and young enough to be wary of advising anyone. And those of you who know our parents know exactly what I'm talking about. But as I reflected when writing this speech, I did think about myself as a new graduate. I thought about the things I wish I knew and what I want my children to know as they grow. Number one, I'm sure at some point you were advised to follow your passion. And I hope that you are passionate about your chosen career because you've certainly spent long enough working towards it. But you may have learned, as I did, that a better strategy is to find something you are good at and be passionate about that. Passion will serve you well in your career. Every one of these graduate degrees puts you in a position of impact. You are the helpers. You are the difference makers. You are the leaders and the world changers. I use the trite term world changers here because it's true, but here's the deal. You're also going to work in systems. You start day one as a world changer and then let's be honest, you enter the world of battling with insurance companies, government red tape that interferes with research funding, lack of support for the very educational programs you're trying to run, and sometimes an inability to serve the children or adults that you're trying to help. Your career and life's work will often feel just like that, work. And some days and months, it will be hard but it will be good work and it will be important. And you will have to work hard because you can change the life of one person at a time. You are the therapist that gives the child the ability to walk. You are the scientist that improves cancer treatment and outcomes. You are the educator, counselor, administrator who helps a student realize his or her potential. And if each day you improve the life of one person, then that does change the world for better. But it's not easy. History is made by people who stared blinking into the uncertain future. Their paths were not lit before them by sacred meteors. For most of us, this sounds like good news. We choose and choose and choose again. This is a quote by author and Duke University Divinity Professor Kate Bowler. I love this quote, and I highly recommend her books, No Cure for Being Human, 
and everything happens for a reason and other lies I've loved. She's brilliant, insightful, and very entertaining, and in a particularly good read if you're going into patient care. This quote speaks to me because sure, a little bit of luck is always involved in the great success stories, but it's mostly about making choices, failing, trying again, more choices, and continued hard work that contribute to success. There really is no magic formula, just persistence and passion. Passion will serve you well. Number two, develop a vision for your professional and personal future. Not just who you are today, but who you wanna be in 10 years, and then in 10 years from that. Find work that allows you to pursue that vision, but be open to new opportunities and change. I began my career as a speech language pathologist working right here at AU. I was good at working with children. My passion was, and still is, giving children opportunities to live successful lives. As an SLP, this was done by helping children communicate, opening doors for them to participate in community and contribute to society. Any therapist or health professional knows that every story isn't a success story, but there are enough of them to know that you are truly making a difference. However, a few years into my career, this passion morphed into a passion for the lack of early intervention services for children in our area, and then the lack of early literacy programs. And that was the genesis for the birth of our foundation. In 2009, when I graduated from MUSC, I never would have expected that years later I would be the chairman of a foundation working with board members and executives and donors and spending my time fundraising all over the country. I'm no longer a practicing therapist and my work looks very different now, but my passion remains the same. Always be open to new opportunities and change. Number three is short, but important. When you employ people, be the boss that sees their potential as well. Being a good boss is hard. Leading people and encouraging them to fly is hard, but they will appreciate it, and it builds a positive culture in your organization. And number four, the theme of this speech has mostly been about hard work and I very much hope you find joy in your life's work. You've worked hard enough already to earn that. But my final thought is really the advice I try to give myself, and it would be this, find time for fun. Fun for you and fun with your people. Let's be honest, this would not probably be a talking point if I was speaking to the undergraduate ceremony. We all know undergraduates are experts at fun. But all of you, by definition, are high achievers and maybe sometimes perfectionists. But you can't do it all. You will try your hardest, but you just can't. The days you are excelling in your professional life might feel at the cost of your personal life, or the days you are crushing it in the mom game may require you to step away from the office, from the clinic, from emails, you can't do it all, and that's okay. But you can do enough. Enough to excel at work, enough to make a difference in this world, and then to take time off for fun with your people. And at the end of the day, that matters too. No one at the end of their life wishes they had had less joy and fun. So once again, class of 2023, you deserve all the accolades you have been given. And I can't wait to see what a difference you make in this community and across the world. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Kisner, for being here with us today and for your generous support of Augusta University and the AU Health System. It's my pleasure now to recognize Dr. Neil McKinnon, the Augusta University Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost.
All right. Well, thank you, President Keel. And now, and now is the time, the part that you've been waiting for, the presentation of the candidates for graduation. Uh, President Keel will confer degrees twice this evening, uh, following the presentation of our professional students and then our graduate students. And just before we start, uh, do we have our dietitian students here tonight? Okay. I want to give you a special shout out because your very last class at the whole university was with me on Monday, and I, I hope I ended you well. I'm glad you're still here and you decided to still graduate, so, but it was great to spend some time with you on uh, a Monday afternoon. Well, at this time, we'd like to recognize our professional students in the Dental College of Georgia and the Medical College of Georgia. The Dental College of Georgia, led by Interim Dean Nancy Young, was established in 1969 for the purpose of educating high-quality general dentists and specialists in the disciplines of general dentistry, endodontics, oral and maxillofacial surgery, orthodontics, pediatric dentistry, periodontics, prosthodontics, uh, to ensure excellent oral health care for the citizens of the state of Georgia. Today, nearly 80% of the graduates from the Dental College of Georgia practice in Georgia. Thank you, Provost McKinnon. President Kill. I have the honor to present Dr. Olivia Fraser, the recipient of the Dental College of Georgia's 2023 Outstanding Senior Award. Dr. Fraser is re representing her fellow candidates for the Doctor of Dental Medicine degree, who will be individually recognized tomorrow at the uh, student at the Dental College of Georgia's hooding ceremony. As a student, she was a tutor and an active member of several student organizations. She was inducted into Omicron Kappa Upsilon, the National Dental Honor Society, as well as Phi Kappa Phi. Dr. Frazier is a West Point graduate and will be a captain in the United States Army as a resident in the Army Endodontics Program at Fort Gordon this July. Olivia L. Fraser. As the 13th oldest medical school in our nation, the Medical College of Georgia, led by Dean David Hess, was established in 1828, charged with educating physicians and providing a challenging environment of teaching, discovery, and service. The college's clinical service zeroes in on the diverse needs of the state and nation, optimizing healthcare in Georgia and beyond by providing students experience in the full spectrum of medicine. Thank you, Provost McKinnon, President Keel. I have the honor to present Dr. Idris Ali and Zachary Adams, the class presidents of the Augusta and Athens campus, two MC graduates representing their 214 fellow candidates for the Doctor of Medicine degree, who were individually recognized just a few hours ago at our hooding ceremony. Dr. Zachary Eric Adams. Dr. Idris Fati Idris Ali Amgayab. By the authority of the state of Georgia, vested in the Board of Regents, and by them delegated to me, I confer upon each of you the degree for which you have been recommended, admitting you to all of its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations.
Good evening and welcome to our graduate commencement and hooding ceremony. My name is Jennifer Sullivan and I am honored to serve as the Dean of the Graduate School. Our graduate student community spans all of the colleges and schools that make up Augusta University and I am very pleased to be joined by academic leadership from across the institution. Thank you deans for being here in support of your students. I would also like to thank and congratulate our faculty. Although tonight is about our students and your outstanding accomplishments, they would not be here without the commitment and dedication of our amazing faculty. Without fail, when we have an opportunity to talk to our students, there is a consistent message of thankfulness and appreciation for those one or two special faculty members that took the time to make a difference in a student's life. Thank you for the compassion that you show our students every day. You have made a difference. To our students, thank you for choosing Augusta University to pursue your graduate education and inviting us on this journey with you. As you enter your chosen field as alumni of AU, I hope you look back on your time here as impactful and with fondness. Remember us when you reach new pinnacles of success. We encourage you to reach out and share those accomplishments with us. I am proud of what you all have accomplished and wish you a very bright future. Before we begin the hooding portion of the ceremony, I'd like to recognize 77 graduates that we have here tonight who are either double, triple, or quadruple JAGs, amazingly enough. There are 69 graduates wearing one of these nice light blue, whoops, light blue single cords, which represents they have chosen to attend Augusta University and receive a degree from us twice. Those that are our triple, we have six triple JAGs and two quadruple JAGs are wearing the cords with the three colors in them. They don't have one that has four colors in it. I'm sorry, we'll, we'll try to work on that. Um, and, and two of those, thank you so much. Your, your commitment to us and the fact that you have chosen to enter our programs more than once um, speaks to the quality of education that our faculty are able to provide. So we will now move on to hooding. What is the significance of a hooding ceremony? The hooding ceremony allows for individual recognition for graduates receiving a master's or doctoral degree. During the ceremony, each graduate will present themselves to their faculty advisor, program director, or dean. We are going to change things up a little bit. The students will process over here. You will stand on the footprints. We've got footprints right here for you. Your faculty hooder will stand behind you. As you come to the top of the stage here, Dr. Dent will take the hood from you, align it correctly, and hand it like this to the faculty member who won't then change that <laughs> and will put it over your head. For those of you who are tall, like myself, and have an advisor who was five foot two, it might be necessary to do a little one of these. Again, go straight down, don't lean forward, just the straight down to make it easy. They don't want to get your hat. They don't want to get your throat. If you'd like, ladies, pull your hair out right afterwards because you're then going to come over here for your photograph with the president and you're going to want that to look as beautiful as it can possibly be. Gentlemen too, I don't mean to be. Pull your hair out if you would like it on the outside of your um, hood. Okay, faculty. When you are done hooding your student or your cohort, you will exit the stage right over here. Be a little bit careful. There's some equipment over there. We don't want anyone falling. We would like this to be a beautiful event with no injuries. The hooding itself signifies success in completing the graduate program. It symbolizes the culmination of a graduate study and the degree recipient's transition from student to colleague. It is a public acknowledgement of all of your hard work, dedication and perseverance that each and every one of you has demonstrated. The presentation of hoods and recognition of your accomplishments by the faculty and deans that have been there with you throughout your academic journey is an especially meaningful moment for both the student and the faculty member invited to place that hood. 
I now invite our provost, Dr. Neil McKinnon, to lead us through the presentation of candidates. All right, you guys ready for this? All right. That's great. And feel free to cheer if, if you're here supporting a graduate tonight. This is not a funeral, it's a celebration, so you can be loud, and then that's part of what makes this event so much fun. Well, thank you again, uh, Dr. Sullivan. Will the Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Science in Medical Physiology, and Master of Science in Data Science candidates please stand and come forward? And as they're coming forward, just this is actually a pretty historic moment. Um, we actually have our first ever five graduates tonight in the Master of Science in Medical Physiology program. One of them, last individual who's uh, in this line, uh, he's actually a former Mr. Uh, Augusta University, who founded earlier this week, he's been accepted to medical school. So pretty, pretty great week. Well, the Doctor of Philosophy programs in Applied Health Sciences, Genomic Medicine, Molecular Medicine, and Nursing are a few of the programs of many in the graduate school, which is led by Dean Jennifer Sullivan. Their graduate school was established in 1965 to educate scientists who endeavor to better understand our bodies and minds, and who seek to discover the genesis of disease and its cure. Today, the Graduate School at Augusta University trains graduate students in all of the university's colleges who seek to raise the bar in their professions by pursuing advanced degrees. And now, Dean Sullivan, Dean Sullivan, <laughs> will recognize the Doctor of Philosophy Master of Science in Medical Physiology, and Master of Science in Data Science degree candidates from the Graduate School. It is my privilege to recognize for the appropriate degrees those persons who have been recommended by the faculty of the Graduate School for graduation. Those students earning masters, specialists, and doctoral degrees will be presented by all of the university colleges throughout the evening ceremony. Now I have the honor of presenting the Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Science in Data Science, and Master of Science in Medical Physiology degree candidates. Dr. Rafael Ayegba Agbali. A roadmap to a comprehensive telemedicine assessment toolkit, TAT, for the assessment of audiovisual telemedicine encounters, hooded by Dr. Gianluca DeLeo. <laughs> Dr. Karen Lachelle Bird. Anti tumor T cell responses are enhanced by local complement secreted by dendritic cells, hooded by Dr. Theodore Johnson. Dr. Wendy Janda Burnett, an analysis of productivity trajectories and collaboration practices of biomedical researchers leading to Nobel Prize winning discoveries, hooded by Dr. Andrew Ballas. Dr. Rebecca Delisio, increasing efficacy of immunotherapies through the modulation of HSF1 expression, hooded by Dr. Jennifer Sullivan. <laughs> Dr. Cassandra C. Dorella. Resveratrol differentially improves endothelin B receptor and skeletal muscle function in males and females with type 1 diabetes. Hooded by Dr. Ryan Harris. <laughs> Dr. Karen Arlene Messiah. Ethnicity, transition time span, social support, coping behaviors and mental health outcomes in Latino, Latina immigrant college students, a prospective observational study, hooded by Dr. Elizabeth Nesmith. <laughs> Dr. Yang Yan Xu, mild circadian rhythm disruption and healthy aging, 
a population study hooded by Dr. Xiaoling Wang. Now presenting the Master of Science with a major in data science candidates, hooded by Dr. Santu Ghosh. Connor Matthew O'Neill. Now presenting the Master of Science with a major in Medical Physiology candidates, hooded by Dr. Ruchi Patel. Caitlin Elizabeth Baldwin. Jordan Joshua Banks. Alexis Jade Jones. Zaire Jadon Orr. Will the degree candidates for the College of Allied Health Sciences please come forward? The College of Allied Health Sciences, led by Dean Lester Pretlow, was established in 1968 for the purpose of educating allied health professionals for the state of Georgia. Today, we graduate therapists, technicians, administrators, managers, and assistants in a wide variety of disciplines to help address the growing workforce needs of complex healthcare systems. And now, Dean Pretlow will present the degree candidates from the College of Allied Health Sciences. Thank you, Provost McKinnon. I have the honor of presenting for the appropriate degrees those persons who have been recommended by the faculty of the College of Allied Health Sciences for graduation. The College of Allied Health Sciences, training everyday heroes. Now presenting the Doctor of Physical Therapy candidates, hooded by Dr. Colleen Hergott. Dr. Taylor Mackenzie Andre. Dr. Hannah Beeman. Dr. Scott Bentley. Dr. Laura Lynn Bradley. Dr. Andrew Brown. Dr. Micah Rodney Bull. Dr. Jacob Ernest Carlson. Dr. Simon Chang. Dr. Itzel Diaz. Dr. Abigail Cranford Gillum. Dr. Jessica Denise Green. Dr. Jordan Alexander Hendricks. Dr.
Dr. Cass Ishin. Dr. Cameron Hunter Johnson. Dr. Rahil M. Khan. Dr. Jibin Koyakathu Titus. Dr. Rachel M. Kruger. Dr. Maria Liu. Dr. Jonathan Lundahl. Dr. Leo Alphonsus San Jose Molino. Dr. Sarah Caitlin Moeller. Dr. Abigail Rachel Nicholas. Dr. Delaney Nix. Dr. Adriana Lee Parson. Dr. Wyatt Perkins. Dr. Emily Windsor Pitt. Dr. Mallory Pollock. Dr. Callie Pushy. Dr. Katherine Hanks Self. Dr. Alicia Danielle Smith. Dr. Rachel Smith. Dr. Matthew G. Tyler. Dr. Hope Webster. Dr. Kylie Ann Whalen. Now presenting the Master of Health Science in Clinical Laboratory Science candidates, hooded by Dr. Greg Passmore. Elvia Del Carmen Encarnacion Thomas. Maya Lynn Giddens. Haukima Laure. Jeremiah S. O. Madeline Grace Overton. Mariella Stephanie Serrano Vieda. Caitlin Augusta Settle. Elizabeth Smith. Jamie Marie Van Saggy.
Alyssa G. Zoff. Now presenting the Master of Health Science in Occupational Therapy candidates, hooded by Dr. Pamela Kearney. Elizabeth Benton. <laughs> Hannah McCoy Bibbins. <laughs> Taylor Emily Brinkley. Caroline Wells Brown. Sarah Catherine Burke. Emily Grace Conrad. Melinda Cootie. Caroline Lillian Corso. Helen Keat Dang. Taylor Marie Forney. Jamie Lynn Freeman. Alexis Latrice Gordon. Cheyenne Harvey. Anna Gabrielle Hassett. Amanda Hayes. Grayson Rose Hitchens. Anna Diane Lawless Hopkins. Zoe Urban. Ashton Taylor Johnson. Sarah Johnston. Carol Katamani. Carly Knight. Macy Drew Linder. Mia Taylor Morrow. Anna Kate Middleton. Montana Moreno. Taylor Nicole Penny. Alexis Nicole Perkins. Yeah. 
Allison Marie Paterka. Anna Pethel. Victor M. Piedra. Jaya Monette Pitts. Jessica Lynn Powell. Emily Reitinger. Taylor Lewis Ravel. Tanner Caitlin Sauls. Janelle Stewart. Alexis Carol Suggs. Tavia Nichelle Sykes. Hope Williams Tedder. Brooke E. Trammell. Amanda A. Valentini. Kayla Elizabeth Vickery. Now presenting the Master of Physician Assistant candidates, hooded by Dr. Lisa Deitch. Alexandra Jordan Andrade. Colby Renee Canada. Hyun Woo Choi. Janessa Dawn Cortez. Peyton Cooper. Brittany Cunningham. Addison Sophia Darty. Lindsay Wallace Day. Clara Easterlin. Katie Snyder Foley. Jennifer Gamble. Alyssa Marie Jardina. Riley Green. Miranda Gail Henderson. Rhea 
Reed Connor Hill. Hannah Grace Holbrook. Elise Ann Hudson. Amanda Kelm. Jillian Lamb. Lindsay May Leonard. Claudia Rose Myra. Garrett Joseph McBroom. Sibley Inman McCauley. Regan Elizabeth McGovern. Teen Na Tran Nguyen. Brooke Pardue. Catherine Heather Pringle. Sarah James Satterfield. Jordan Brooke Schaefer. Kirsten Diane Schaefer. Jaslyn Danielle Sharp. Laura Elizabeth Smoke. Anna Statler. Jordan Sublet. Kendra Elise Summers. Lindsay Tordoff. Suzanne Alexa Turry. Hunter Adam Woodard. Mary Mar Woodard. Now presenting the Master of Public Health candidates, hooded by Dr. Manirul Islam. Jasmine C. Benson. Olivia Reed Faircloth. Crystal L. Harrison. Jessica Falana Lewis.
Katherine Pinkerton Richardson. Raymond A. Salido. Jean T. Smoke. Emily Elizabeth Taylor. Charmaine Leisha Walker. Now presenting the Master of Science with a major in Allied Health candidates, hooded by Dr. Raymond Chong. Nicole Lynn Ayer. Madeline Blackadar. Taylor Sandra Carrick. Mallory Johns. Catherine A. McVeigh. Olivia Davenport Plagman. Ashley M. Postma. Brittany Page Price. Rebecca Alice Reese. Kylie Jordan Rouse. Adrian Nicole Smith. Now presenting the Master of Science in Medical Illustration candidates, hooded by Ms. Amanda Baer. Kaylee Sarah Bleshmid. <laughs> Zoe Elizabeth Elwood. Alexis Guerra. Kimberly Noel Krutzinger. Peter Nackton. Ronald Daniel Pettit, Jr. Megan Alicia Reeves. Julia Smithing. Grace Juliet Wilson. Well, at this time, will the degree candidates for the College of Education and Human Development please come forward?
The College of Education and Human Development, led by Dean Judy Wilson, prepares students at undergraduate and graduate levels for careers in education and kinesiology. Students complete coursework that is based upon relevant research and best practices and incorporates field and clinical experiences. Committed to excellence, the College of Education and Human Development prepares teachers, counselors, administrators, and kinesiologists to serve diverse populations in a wide variety of educational and health settings. And now, Dean Wilson will present the degree candidates from the College of Education and Human Development. Thank you, Provost McKinnon. I have the honor of presenting for the appropriate degrees those persons who have been recommended by the faculty of the College of Education and Human Development for graduation. Our candidates represent our institutional values and our difference makers. Now presenting the Doctor of Education with a major in Educational Innovation candidates hooded by Dr. Rebecca Harper and Dr. Lee Flood. Dr. Sydney Basil. Dr. Thomas Joseph Basil. Dr. Xavier Marcus Bradley. Dr. Shireen Amarka Clement. Dr. Lauren Louise Davis. Dr. Walter Stantward Dodson III. Dr. Sameh Ibrahim. <laughs> Dr. Mario Lavone Mohorn. Dr. Portia Alexis Stevens. Dr. Ivy Rouse Tillman. Dr. Travis Anthony Wiggins. <laughs> Dr. David Ashton Rice Yancey. Now presenting the specialist in education with a major in advanced educational studies candidates, hooded by Dr. Laura Richley. Karen V. Behrman. Carla Julie Biley.
Tasha Tanika Brim. Chelsea E. Bruce DaCosta. Taryn Burns. Nashela Latrice Nicole Cox. Ronnie Alexander Hernandez. Kara Peoples Miller. Why Tashanika Marie Murray? Denicia Nicole Norman. Elizabeth Ortiz. Sylvia Ortiz. John Cole Ross. Cynthia Denise Samuels Jackson. Tamika Lashandra Stokeling. Lisa Thomas Stokes. Now presenting the Master of Education with a major in Counselor Education candidates, hooded by Dr. Margot Brown. Summer Brooks Barge. Susan Elizabeth Barker. Anna Mae Beck. Jessica Brown. Michelle Allen Chansey. Hillary Kaplan. Kara Elizabeth Lamberth. Michael John Lorette, Jr. Sasha Keshmini Maharaj. Carly Clark McKillop. Annie Clifton Morgan. Tabricia Neely. Nolan Owen Norris.
Courtney Buckner Som. Lizbeth Sanchez Velasquez. Aaron Naomi Tidwell. Tara Ray Tressler. Now presenting the Master of Education with a major in instruction candidates, hooded by Dr. Stacy Pettit. Gabriella Nicole Clements. Sarah Kirkland Dixon. Faith Danielle Grooms. Adrian Tanell Hobbs. Caleb Rashad Stanley. Ashley Renee Thompson. Michael C. Turner. Lake O. Adelaide. <laughs> Jenna Rice Boyer. Jessica Nicole Moxley. Now presenting the Master of Arts in Teaching Candidates, hooded by Dr. Kimberly Barker. Catherine A. Barker. Kristen Adele Brock. <laughs> Kelly Diane Brooks. <laughs> Tisa LaShawn Gumby. Trelawney Michelle Hicks. <laughs> Cynthia Renee Jacquez. <laughs> Tina McInnell. Tanasia Charday Rhodes. Madison Brooke Rogers. Karina Felix Shelton.
Kennedy May Smith. Kelsey Aresia Burnin. Jody Deline Wilson. Bryn Allen Wu. Usia Yen. All right, well at this time, will the degree candidates from the College of Nursing please stand and come forward. Now, Dean Studio, we've heard some cheering tonight, but I heard that people really like nurses. Is that true? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, the College of Nursing, established in 1943, was the first public nursing college in Georgia. At that time, with less than 50 students, the tradition of preparing excellent nursing graduates began. Today, led by Dean Tanya Sudia, the College of Nursing offers four degree programs, has an enrollment of over a thousand students, and is the flagship College of Nursing in the University System of Georgia. With campuses in Augusta and Athens, the college prepares graduates for career as registered nurses, advanced practice registered nurses, clinical nurse leaders, certified registered nurse anesthetists, nurse executives, and nurse scientists. And now, Dean Sudia will present the College of Nursing degree candidates. Thank you, Provost McKinnon, President Keel. I have the honor of presenting for the appropriate degrees those persons who have been recommended by the faculty of the College of Nursing for graduation. These students are well prepared to continue their nursing careers and transition into critical workforce roles in various healthcare settings. I thank these graduates for choosing nursing and especially for choosing our Augusta University College of Nursing. Now presenting the Doctor of Nursing Practice candidates, hooded by Dr. James Brinson. Dr. Mary Catherine McElroy. Dr. Madeline Peebles. Doctor of Nursing Practice Candidates, hooded by Dr. Pamela Cromer. Dr. Jamie Bellamy Clark. Dr. Taylor Flippo Daniel. Dr. Wanda D. Elam. Dr. Morgan Gonzalez. Dr. Mallory Hurd. Dr. Jasmine Anastasia Johnson Hill. Dr. Gino Lianco. Dr. Floriberth Ugo Wokochar. Dr. Irina Shishkina. Dr. Shi Wang.
Dr. Hai Yang Xiao. Doctor of Nursing Practice Candidates, hooded by Dr. Mary Lou Davis. Dr. Caroline S. Beggs. Dr. Patsy April Kilgore. Dr. Aubrey Ann Whirl. Doctor of Nursing Practice Candidates, hooded by Dr. Beth Fisher. Dr. Madeline Joelle Caron. Dr. Christina Herndon. Dr. Caitlin McGuire. Doctor of Nursing Practice Candidates, hooded by Dr. Denotra Gaillard. Dr. Alicia M. Batty. Dr. Jacqueline Gilbert Peed. Doctor of Nursing Practice Candidates, hooded by Dr. Caroline McKinnon. Dr. Deanna Nicole Best. Dr. Tia Che. Dr. Macy M. Collins. Dr. Asia Danielle Ford. Dr. Jamie Gilbert. Dr. Ashley Harrell. Dr. Han Bin Lee. Dr. Abisa Onyurimbe. Dr. Chelsea Nicole Overby. Dr. Carolyn Ann Prestwich. Dr. Regina Eggleton Rashid. Dr. Alexis Ross. Dr. Shayla Nichelle S. Wilson. Doctor of Nursing Practice Candidates, hooded by Dr. Beth McLear. Dr. Dan Hugh Bui. Dr. Valerie Michelle Cavalieri. Dr. Hannah Beth Clanton.
Dr. Taylor Gunter. Dr. Nicholas Gupta. Dr. Latricia Y. Larry. Dr. Catherine LeBlanc. Dr. Nicole Tyler Lee. Dr. Brittany Sade McClady. Dr. Dusty M. Robinson. Dr. Emily K. Tyus. Dr. Jessica Margaret Walker. Dr. Tanisha Warren Parkinson. Doctor of Nursing Practice Candidates, hooded by Dr. Elena Prendergast. Dr. Gun He Isaac Lee. Dr. Ayana Nichelle Stewart. Doctor of Nursing Practice Candidates, hooded by Dr. Colleen Walters. Dr. Johnson L. Chendem. Dr. Mariah Harris Bridges. Dr. Megan Broadwater. Dr. Michaela Alexandria Carson. Dr. Rachel Ware Holloway. Dr. Amy Jamison. Dr. Chloe Page Kidd. Dr. Lauren Thomas Teague. Dr. Melissa Aaron Tesson. Well, at this time, will the degree candidates from the College of Science and Mathematics please stand and come forward. <laughs> yeah, we can clap for them, yeah. Small in number, but they are mighty. Well, the College of Science and Mathematics, led by Dean John Sutherland, but represented this evening by Associate Dean Kathy Tugman, provide students with strong foundations in the sciences and mathematics, as well as preparation for career, citizenship, and a lifelong love of learning. The college is committed to promoting scientific inquiry and discovery, and to creating opportunities for intellectual growth and community involvement. And now, Associate Dean Tugman will present the degree candidates from the College of Science and Mathematics. Thank you, Provost McKinnon. 
I have the honor of presenting for the appropriate degrees those persons who have been recommended by the faculty of the College of Science and Mathematics for graduation. Now presenting the Master of Science with a major in biological and computational mathematics candidates, hooded by Dr. Neil Smith. Frederick Jones IV. Hannah Faye Shedd. Now presenting the Master of Science with a major in Biomolecular Science candidates, hooded by Dr. Amy Abdelovich Swee and Dr. Angela Spencer. Amber Ajamu Johnson. Lavaria Brown. David Wayne Hansen. Ahmet Karim Korkaya. Laura Stewart. Now presenting the Master of Science with a major in psychology candidates, hooded by Dr. Michael Hone. Sequoia Rosa Bell. Ashton Faith Blush. Savannah Grace Coleman. Madeline Devereaux Matthews. Elanita Pollard. Havila Pratishthita Ravala. Samantha Hope Joy Sandlin. Emily Renee Winter. All right, well, at this time, with the degree candidates from the Hall College of Business, please stand and come forward. Well, the Hall College of Business, led by Interim Dean Mark Thompson, was established in 1963 for the purpose of providing a high-quality, personalized education prepare our students for career success. The college strives to graduate individuals ready to excel in their fields of study and to become leaders in the business world. And now Dean Thompson will present the degree candidates from the Hall College of Business. Thank you, Provost McKinnon. I have the honor of presenting for the appropriate degrees those persons who have been recommended by the faculty of the Hall College of Business for graduation. Now presenting the Master of Business Administration candidates, hooded by Dr. Mark Thompson. Jasmine M. Brothers. John Clifford Creech.
Olivia L. Fraser. Amber Rose Hickson. Chase Edward Kessler. Tyree Jamal Myers. Tonette M. Stevenson. Tristan Rosina Woods. This time, will the degree candidates from the Pamplin College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences please stand and come forward? <laughs> the Catherine Reese Pamplin College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, led by Dean Kim Davies, forms the heart of liberal arts at Augusta University. Offering over 40 unique degree programs, Pamplin is a college of diverse students, educators, researchers, and creators committed to innovation, dissemination of knowledge, and community enrichment. Pamplin faculty foster critical thinking about complex questions of the human experience. They cultivate skills in written, verbal, and creative expression. They promote active citizenship and community engagement and prepare graduates for diverse careers in our quickly changing, globalized environments. And now Dean Davies will present the degree candidates from the Pamplin College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. Thank you, Provost McKinnon. The dedicated faculty of the Pamplin College have recommended the students assembled here today for our first class degree programs in intelligence and security studies and public administration. I'm delighted and honored to present them for the degrees they have earned. Now presenting the Master of Arts with a major in Intelligence and Security Studies candidates, hooded by Dr. Craig Albert. Coral Enid Flores Tolentino. Alexander Thurmond. Kristen Lynn Topping. Jillian S. Wagner. Now presenting the Master of Public Administration candidates, hooded by Dr. Wesley Mears. Peter Marino Alfano. Nefetiria Amari Ellington. Derek L. Moore. Catherine Nancy Polliman. Amy Elizabeth Thorne. Grace Elizabeth Welsh. And finally, will the degree candidates for the School of Computer and Cyber Sciences please stand and come forward. <laughs> the
The School of Computer and Cyber Sciences, led by Dean Alexander Schwartzman, was established in 2017 to address the critical demands of society in the fields of computing, cybersecurity, and information technology through educational programs and research. The school instills excellence in scholarship and educates a diverse student body on the scientific, engineering, social, and ethical facets of the field. The school cultivates strong research across its computer science, information systems, security, and cyber systems engineering disciplines, and it serves the state, country, and its public and private sectors through active engagement and outreach. And now Dean Schwartzman will present the degree candidates from the School of Computer and Cyber Sciences. Thank you, Provost McKinnon. <laughs> and now, <laughs> Dr. Keel, I have the honor of presenting for the appropriate degrees those graduates who have been recommended by the faculty of the School of Computer and Cyber Sciences for graduation including not only information security professionals, but also for the first time, students graduating with a Master of Science in Computer Science. Woo. Now presenting the Master of Science with a major in Computer Science candidates, hooded by Dr. Jason Orlowski. Adam Mansour. Now presenting the Master of Science with a major in Information Security Management candidates, hooded by Dr. Jason Williams. Benjamin Nathan Benson. Eugene Jackery. John T. Wilkerson. Well, before we confer the degrees officially, sorry to wait, make you wait maybe another 30 seconds, I also want to recognize two deans with us today who do not have any students participating in today's ceremony. But for our students, I suspect most of you, if not all of you, have spent time accessing digital resources or studying in our libraries on campus, which mean that you've been around this first dean and his team's work. Please join me in thanking our inaugural Dean of Libraries, Brad Warren, for being with us here today. <laughs> Additionally, another Dean joining us today, while he doesn't have any students participating in today's ceremony, we look forward to celebrating the first graduates of Augusta University Online that will be starting up this fall. Please join me in thanking our Dean of Augusta University Online, Dr. Mark Austin, for being with us today. Well, here we go. This is exciting. Will all the candidates for all the degrees please rise? So, Mr. President, Mr. President, I have the honor to present the candidates for specialists, masters, and doctoral degrees. They have completed all the requirements and have been recommended by our faculty for graduation. By the authority of the state of Georgia, vested in the Board of Regents, and by them delegated to me, I confer upon each of you the degree for which you have been recommended, admitting you all to its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. You may be seated. Woo! At this time, would Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Miller, Chair of Augusta University Department of Military Science, 
and Cadet Tanisha Rhodes, please come forward to conduct the Army Officer's Oath of Office. Ladies and gentlemen, this year we are honoring the achievements of 12 Augusta University students who will commission as officers in the United States Army on Saturday. Cadet Rhodes stands as, as a representative of this outstanding class of candidates who have completed the ROTC program here at Augusta University. Cadet Rhodes graduates today as a distinguished military graduate, which means she has finished at the top 20% of Army graduates on the National Order of Merit list in the United States Army ROTC. Cadet Rose is also the George C. Marshall Awardee from Augusta University, which is awarded annually for selfless service to the United States of America. She will now take the oath of office to begin her career as a United States Army officer. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Tanisha Sade Rhodes. Do you solemnly swear? Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I bear true faith. That I bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation. Without any, any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office upon which. Of the office upon which. I'm about to enter. I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Lieutenant. <laughs> Catherine Baker, a graduate today from the College of Education and Human Development, was chosen to lead the graduates in the Graduate Student Oath. Thank you, President Keel. Hello, graduates. Please go to page 23 in your program and stand to recite the Graduate Oath with me. As I embark on my career, now an alumnus of Augusta University, I pledge that I will represent my discipline honorably by conducting myself and my professional endeavors in a manner that is always above reproach. I will strive to show compassion, embrace diversity, and above all, uphold excellence that I should become a worthy role model an ambassador of Augusta University. With this affirmation, I acknowledge and honor the contributions of those who have preceded me. While seeking truth and the advancement of knowledge in all my actions, I will always remember to act so as to preserve the finest traditions of my calling and incorporate both the art and science of my profession in the products of my labor. I will incorporate ethical and moral principles that constitute integrity in all that I do and faithfully ensure that the results of my professional activities ultimately benefit our world. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Augusta University, I congratulate each of you for successfully completing this phase of your education. We are proud to send you out into the world as a graduate of Augusta University. As we close the ceremony, would you all please stand as Kennedy Smith will lead us in the singing of our alma mater, which can be found on page 24 of the commencement program. Immediately following, Katie Foley, our graduate student speaker, will continue the co uh, commencement tradition of ringing the arsenal bell. In the history of our university, <laughs> in the history of our university, the sound of bells has been used to recognize the beginning and endings of your academic experience. Today, we ring the bell three times to celebrate and recognize our newest graduates, our past, 
our present, and your future as alumni of, of Augusta University. Uh. Congratulations, Augusta University graduates. Go forth and celebrate with your family. Good night.